I'm Silas Allen with the Oklahoman, and we have Rick Smith from the National Weather Service on the line. He's going to tell us about the severe weather chances for tomorrow. Rick, what do you have for us? Hey, Silas. Well, it's uh, Tuesday's going to be one of those days where we're going to want to be paying extra attention to the weather. Got a lot of ingredients coming together tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening over much of our area. But we could see some pretty, uh, pretty dangerous storms with, you know, maybe some really large damaging hail, strong winds and maybe even tornadoes. What's the timing for those storms? Right now, it looks like the bulk of the storms, at least here in central Oklahoma, would be after four o'clock. Probably the peak peak threat time would be in that 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. time frame. Uh, you know, as is always the case, we may tweak that timing a little bit between now and then. Uh, you'll want to check the weather really closely in the morning before you go to work or especially before you head home tomorrow afternoon to see what's going on, though. Okay, and what, what areas of the state is the threat the biggest? Right now, the, the highest threat looks like it's in central and eastern Oklahoma. If you draw a line, basically, you know, from around Enid down to Wichita Falls, Texas, give or take a, a county on either side of that, really along and east of that line uh, is, is the area that we're looking at the highest threat of severe weather. We think back behind that line, it's going to be a dry line set up out there and anywhere west of the dry line will have you know very little potential for any bad weather okay you mentioned uh strong winds and large hail exactly how big are we talking well given the given the atmospheric ingredients we're seeing coming together it wouldn't be out of question if we saw storms that had baseball size hail or larger tomorrow it's going to be one of these storms where you know not everybody's going to see that there may only be a handful of storms to start with but uh, the most intense storms tomorrow afternoon, especially, you know, you, you should probably stay out of their way because they may have some really big damaging hail in them. Okay. And it sounded like the timing of that is right about the time that a lot of people are headed home from work. Is that right? Unfortunately, yeah. That's kind of our, you know, traditionally our peak time for tornadoes and severe weather is in that, you know, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. time frame. And it looks like that's kind of be the, going to be the case tomorrow. So 4 to, four to 7, 4 to 8 is going to be the peak. So, uh, you know, and, and we'll see how things pan out. Like I said, we're not going to see just a, a wall of storms moving across I-35, we don't think. There may only be a handful of storms. But certainly if you get in front of one of those, that's, that's not a place you want to be. So what I'd be doing is checking the weather during the day tomorrow. You know, if there are storms forming and this forecast holds, I'd, you know, I'd do anything I could to try to, you know, maybe get home a little bit early and beat the rush because uh, the last place I'd want to be stuck is out on the road with these storms bearing down on me. Okay, and as we get into storm season, I know you all have preached uh, the gospel of having a plan. Can you tell me a bit about why that's important? Having a plan is is important this time of year, and it doesn't have to be an elaborate plan. We're not talking about written documents and three-inch binders and things like that. We're talking about just thinking in advance about what you'll do. Just if you spend a minute, two minutes uh, this evening talking to your family, okay, where are we going to be between 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock on Tuesday afternoon and evening? Where will we take shelter? Do we have a storm shelter? Do we have neighbors who have a shelter? What if we're away from home? How are we going to get warnings? Uh, if we're away from home. So it's just a, it's as simple as just thinking ahead a little bit, paying attention to the weather, having multiple ways to get warnings, and uh, really paying attention goes a long way because the weather information system here in Oklahoma is better than just about anywhere else. Okay, I think that'll do it. Thanks again, Rick. Okay, thanks, Silas. Appreciate it.